is a gross and too expensive. I can't even shop at Gucci anymore. <laughs> uh, you're so annoying. Goodbye. <laughs> Hold on. Did that mean Mom just abandoned her baby? Oh my gosh. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have to stop this poor baby from crying. Maybe I'll just pick her up. Come here, little one. It's okay. There, there. It'll all be okay. Um, just don't panic like I'm doing. Oh, that's not working. Okay, all right. Um, hey, you get that crying baby out of here. Oh, I'm so sorry, but her mom literally just left her here. Don't care. You scared away customers. <laughs> Hey, you can't just yell at a baby like that. I just did. Now, if you don't leave the pier in 10 minutes, I'm calling the cops. Now, get lost. You know, sir, you are terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Try and tell me something I don't know. Don't listen to him, little one. It'll be okay. Don't worry, we'll figure this out. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, awesome. Okay, she's asleep. Well, since I guess I don't know your name, I'll call you Mila. Yeah, I like that. <gasps> oh no, it looks like it's gonna storm. Alrighty, Mila, let's go home. I gotta get you out of here. Okay, we're back, home sweet home. I just texted Sophie, my best friend, so hopefully she'll be here soon to help me figure out what to do with this whole crying baby thing. She's still asleep right now. <laughs> Oh, oh no, I spoke too soon. She's awake. Don't panic, don't panic. Um, maybe she's hungry. Okay. Um, Mila, what do you like to eat? Okay, um, now would be a really great time for you to say your first words. Can you say pineapple? Okay, not quite. Um, chicken alfredo. Okay, maybe she's lactose intolerant. Hot dogs, steak! I don't know, I don't know! <laughs> yes, Dee! Hey, girly, I'm here! You found a baby? How awesome! I've always wanted to be an aunt. Oh my gosh, Sophie, you're here! And I cannot be more excited to see you! <laughs> oh boy, uh, need some help? Definitely. She just woke up crying, and I don't know what to do because she just keeps crying, and it seems like all she can do is cry. Well, she's probably just hungry, girly. What do you have? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Um, I have meat skewers, uh, beef stew, barbecue ribs. Oh, barbecue ribs for a baby? Yeah, uh, babies can eat barbecue ribs, right? Ah! I'm gonna have to say no. Oh my gosh, Sophie, what am I gonna do? I have nothing to feed a baby. Have no fear. Auntie Sophie is on it. I'll take Mila and go to the grocery store and get some baby food. Oh my gosh, you're the best, Sophie. I know. Now, come on, little one. You wanna go for a ride in the car with Auntie Sophie? <laughs> Yapping. I'm not that bad of a driver. Now, while Sophie's gone, I'm gonna hop into build mode and set up a nursery for little baby Mila. All right, now we're in build mode, so I have to figure out where exactly I'm going to put this nursery. I need a room that's like close to my room, so in case in the middle of the night, Mila starts to cry, I can hear her. So we're just gonna go through and delete some things. Babies cannot use computers, people, so I'm getting rid of that. Now let's put some things a baby actually needs in this room, like a crib. Oh my gosh, perfect, it's so cute. And she's definitely gonna need a changing table so I can change all those stinky, gross belly diapers. Oh, I am not looking forward to that. Let's add a few more things like this adorable stroller. We'll need that for when we go on walks. And I'm gonna change the color of the walls. I need something not as boring as this white. So a light pink. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh, hold on. We gotta get rid of the candles because folks, we cannot have an open flame by a baby. Oh, no, no, that is a danger. Let's add a teddy bear. <gasps> this teddy bear is like literally the biggest one I've ever seen. Um, It's kind of terrifying being that big. <laughs> so let's switch it out for a little bit of a smaller one. Cute, a unicorn. Yes, of course, she needs a unicorn. Everyone needs a unicorn because unicorns are amazing. I'll put it right by the crib. 
polar bear. I think it's a polar bear. Okay, we're looking good, but I think we still need a few more things like, oh, maybe like um one of those cubby storage things for when she's older and has a ton of toys, she'll have the perfect little area to store them. Whoa. Looking good. What else do we need? Oh, we need a few things on the walls. Yeah. These abstract paintings seem a little, I don't know, peaceful? Inspiring? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> it just adds a little pop of color. And we have to change the color of the stroller to pink. <gasps> what else? Um, a plant. No room's complete without a plant. All right, time for the finishing touches. Gosh, perfect timing, Sophie. I just finished building the cutest nursery ever. Ah, I can't wait to see it. Um, wait a second. Soph, where's Mila? Who? Sophie, the baby you were supposed to be watching. I should take her own car. You know, ride solo. Sophie, she is a baby. She doesn't have a car. Where is she? How am I supposed to know? Because you're the one who's supposed to be watching her. Oof, right. Well, beats me. Oh my gosh, Sophie, this is not okay. We have to go find baby Mila. She's probably scared. I mean, she was abandoned. <laughs> I can't believe it. Mila is five years old now, which means she is going to school. Mom! Mom, 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 mom. I need help. I need help. Meet me upstairs. Coming, sweetie. Mom, I want to wear a princess outfit to school, but I don't know which one to choose. Ooh, that is a tough decision for sure. What are your options? Well, I have a green one, I have a pink one, and then another like purple sparkly one with a big poofy skirt. Hmm, okay, this is really tough, Mila. I don't know. I think maybe go with the purple one, because that's your favorite and you feel so confident in it. You're right. Thanks, Mom. Of course. I'll be downstairs waiting, but we gotta hurry. You have five minutes to change because you can't be late for your first day. Mila, where are you? You're gonna be late. Come on. Hold on a second. Where's your princess dress? Well, Mom, I decided to just be myself today at school. You know what, Mila? That's an amazing idea. It's so important to be yourself. And tomorrow, if you want to be a princess, you can be, as long as it makes you happy. Thanks, Mama. Of course. But uh, you don't want to be like me and be late for everything. So come on, let's get in the car. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's go. Hurry, Mom. You moved too slow. I can't believe I dropped her off at her first day of school. So, to make me happy, I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping, cause shopping makes everything better. So I'm gonna head to the furniture store and see if they have like, I don't know, a new plant, a new candle. The tag clearly says two dollars. Why are you charging a hundred for it? Um, ma'am, the tag says a Walmart on it. Well, this is not Walmart. I don't care what it says. The customer's always right. Wait. I recognize that terrible voice. I think that's Mila's real mom yelling at that employee. You're so dumb. Get me the manager. Yeah, okay. One second, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> You're surely not the manager. No, ma'am, I'm not. I wanted to talk to you about your daughter. What are you talking about? I don't have a daughter. Kids are gross. Look, I saw you that day on the pier about five years ago abandoning your baby. What? How? No one was around. Ma'am, there was a whole line of people standing at the ice cream stand. Didn't you notice that? Well, you have no proof it was me. Well, why didn't you come back for her? Don't you want to know about her? Know if she's safe? Mila was scared. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a second. Did you save her or something? And is that what you named her? Weird. But no, I don't want to know anything about her. Yeah, why, Mia? Whoa! I'm out of here. Where's the Mila is already 15! My pineapples do they grow up fast! I know! It seems like just yesterday you casually lost her! Oh, come on, Brett! That was in the past! Get over it! Pretty soon, you'll be teaching her how to drive! Or, wait, hold on! Better idea! Can I do that? Sophie, you are my best friend, but having you teach Mila how to drive is an absolutely terrifying thought! Oh, come on, Britt! I've only gotten 1,500 speeding tickets! It's really not that bad! We gotta focus! I think I set everything up for Mila's sleepover party! We got the balloons! We got presents! 
presents, a confetti cannon that you just exploded. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You can't forget the birthday cake. Did you get the birthday cake? Already picked it up. I have it in the fridge, and the pizza money is already by the front door for the pizza man. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed, Bestie. Seems like you got everything all handled. I mean, it looks pretty good to me. I just really want Mila to have the best 15th birthday party ever. Mom! Hey, can we watch the Barbie movie tonight? Oh, hi, Auntie Sophie. Happy birthday, Mila! You know, actually, I'll run home and get my double feature DVD of Barbie 1 and Barbie 2, the Ken sequel. So that way you can watch both movies. Oh, sick! Auntie Sophie, you're the best. You hear that, Britt? I'm the best. I'll be right back, Christ! Alrighty, so we have the pizza, movie, cake. Am I forgetting anything else, Mila? I don't think so, Mom. You know, Auntie Sophie might be the best, but you're the best mom ever. Oh, Mila, you're so sweet. But hey, not to bring the mood down or anything, but since you're 15 now, I thought maybe this would be a good time to tell you about your actual mom. Ew, no, you don't need to do that. You don't want to know anything about your real mom? She abandoned me when I was a baby. She sounds mean and terrible, and that does not sound like a mom to me. You're the one who has actually raised me, taken care of me. I consider you my real mom, not her. Okay, Mila, but I want you to know that you're very special and honestly the best daughter ever. Happy birthday. Thanks, Mom. Change of plans. We're watching all the Mission Impossibles. Oh, Sophie, nobody wants to watch those. Are you kidding me? They're the greatest movies of all time. Mom, I'm nervous. Starting a job for the first time will always seem a little scary at first, but in no time, you'll get the hang of it. Don't worry. Yeah, but Mom, I've heard like so many horror stories of people working in retail. Do you think they're true? Well, Mila, just like in life, people can be mean sometimes. But that's why you have a manager who's got your back and can deal with those types of people. You sure? Of course. And you got this, sweetie. Have a good first day of work. Oh my gosh, I'll try. Ah, I wonder what the employee discount is. Don't forget to hook up your mom. You got it. What are you doing standing outside my favorite boutique? It's you. Yeah, it's me. What, are you stalking me now? No, it's been like 12 years since I've last seen you. Yeah, okay, cute, whatever. You're wasting my time now. I've got money to spend. Go ahead, be my guest. But when you go in there, you better be nice to my daughter. Oh, is that trash of yours working here now? Trash? Oh my gosh, she is not trash. She is the best daughter that you missed out on having. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she would have been a waste of my time and money. Lady, you are truly so mean. So what? Look at me now. I'm rich, baby. And you're just a dumb, dumb idiot. What are you just call my best friend? Oh, Brick, step aside. Don't you worry. Auntie Sophie's here to handle this terrible lady. Ew. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. Hey, Mom! Um, what's going on? My manager sent me to check out what all the yelling was about. Oh, Mila! Hi! Um... Wait... That was my real mom. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Well, that's okay. Really? Are you sure you're fine? Yeah, I'm not gonna let a mean lady ruin my first day of work. I don't care who she is. I'm just glad she's off the property. No, that's the spirit. I think your Auntie Sophie took care of her, so you're good to go back inside and tell your manager that everything's okay. Will do. I gotta get back in there and make some money so I can buy a car! <laughs> Oh, Sophie, don't cry. It's gonna be okay. I just can't believe Mila is leaving for college. I know. I can't believe Mila's 18 now. She's all grown up. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna start crying again, Brett. Oh, my gosh. Um, uh, okay, Sophie. Uh, I'm gonna go see if Mila needs any help with the packing. <laughs> Good idea. Just leave me here with all my emotions. Be right back. Oh my gosh. Hey. Hey, Mom. I'm almost done packing. 
Sounds good. I was just seeing if maybe you needed any more help finishing up. Uh, no, I, I think I pretty much got it. But if you want to go ahead and grab some boxes and take them out to my car, that would be awesome. Of course. I just, I can't believe it. It's so crazy to see your room like this. I know, right? Everything's gone. But I'm so excited to start a new chapter. And I'm excited for you. I'm gonna take this box because it doesn't seem so heavy, but this still is really heavy, Mila. What do you have in there? Oh, you know, everything I own. <laughs> but hey, real quick, I just want to tell you I'm so proud of you for getting into the school of your dreams and for working so hard. Well, Mom, I couldn't have done it without your support and taking me in when I was abandoned. Who knows what would have happened to me if I had to live on that pier? Oh, well, it was my honor. Thanks, Mom. I'm gonna finish packing up the rest of my things and I'll meet you outside. Okay, sounds great. Okay, Soph. Oh, Soph, what are you doing out here? <sighs> well, I decided to channel my emotions into checking out her car to make sure it's safe on her drive. Oh, that's a good idea. How's it look? Uh, it looks pretty good to me. She has enough oil. Tires are looking good. I mean, I honestly, I'm trying to think of something to prevent her from leaving, though. I'm not ready for her to go. I know, Soph. Me too. As much as I hate seeing her leave, we can't keep her here forever. She's got to go out and explore the world. Oh, why can't we go with her, though? Please, Brit. I can't take it. How about we get a house next to her college campus? Yeah, how's that sound? Sophie, we can't do that. She'll be okay. I don't know, Brad. Please, please, please. Can we live on campus with her? Esty, no. My mom is right, Auntie Sophie. I'll be okay. You don't have to worry. All right, all right. Well, Mila, I... I guess this is goodbye. <laughs> Auntie Sophie, don't cry. This isn't a forever goodbye. It's just a temporary one. I mean, there's always family weekend. <laughs> Mom, uh, is Auntie Sophie gonna be okay? Mila, is she ever really okay? Uh, yeah, <laughs> good point. <laughs> All right, I think that's everything. Bye, Mom. Bye, Auntie Sophie. I love you guys. Bye, Mila. Text me when you get there. I will. Don't worry, Mom. See you later. <laughs> I can't watch. I can't watch her drive away. No. No, that's it. I can't do this. No, no, no. No, you're not leaving. Ah! Oh my gosh, Sophie. Guys, I'm so excited. Mila says she has a surprise for me and told me to meet her at the airport with my suitcase. I wonder what she has planned. I know she's been crazy, crazy busy lately because she has a successful acting career and is about to star in her own Netflix original. Mom! Mila! Oh my gosh, it's been way too long. Mom, I've missed you. And I'm really sorry for not being around much lately. Oh my gosh, don't be sorry at all. It's totally okay i understand you have a busy life now my girl's an actress i know it's kind of cool but hey as a thank you for everything and being literally the best mom in the entire world we are going on my private jet and flying to paris <gasps> paris really oh my gosh oh my gosh yeah Mom, I've seen your mood board for years, and you've always talked about how much you really want to go there one day. This is the greatest news ever! I know, right? Now let's go! We don't want to be late! Hey, Jeff! Checking in for my flight! Hey, Miss Mila! Of course! I'm well, glad to see you. Is this your mom you've been talking about? She seems amazing, and I don't even know her. Eh, Mila, darling! It's so good to see you! I'm all ready for Perry! Oh my gosh, what? What are you doing here? Can a mom not come visit her daughter? But you're not my mom. Um, I'm sorry, but I think you should leave. Who do you think you are? I'm her real mother. You can't tell me what to do. You abandoned her. You wanted nothing to do with her. Yeah, you decided to come back now after I have a successful acting career. What, are you looking for a free trip? I don't think so. Hey, that's no way to speak to your mother. You will never be my mother. Brittany is my real mom. Now leave before I have security escort you out. Mila, sweetie. Come on, 
Don't you think this is unreasonable? I'm being unreasonable? You left me alone on a pier when I was just a baby. But you know what? I'm done. And I'm done with you. Security? Don't worry, Mila. I got gotcha. you. Is there a problem, Miss Mila? Yeah, this fan over here won't leave me alone. Fan? Don't worry, Miss Mila. I'll take care of it. Have a safe flight. I'm not a fan. What are you doing? Come on, let's go. What? No! I'm your mama! Okay, now where were we? Heading to Paris? Oh, yeah. Come on, Mom, let's go. What a beautiful day in Brookhaven. It's literally perfect out. But oh my gosh, look at the sun is out. It is shining. The clouds are beautiful. The birds are chirping. And look, oh my gosh, there are people over at the playground. This is like the perfect day in Brookhaven. I'm so excited to see what adventure I could go on right now. Ew, I don't even have bangs. What could that mom be yelling at her child for? I'm gonna get a little closer and see what's going on. And a flower shirt? That's what you bought? Disgusting. Whoa, is this woman yelling at her child and calling her disgusting? I can't believe it. That's not really how mothers act. Please, mom. Please what? Can you push me on the swings? Tutter just seems so upset. I mean, that is the saddest way to ask someone to push you on the swings. I'll push you off the deep end. Okay, this mom is next level. Why is she shouting at her kid that way? I don't want to be seen with your big, ugly face. Did she just call her own daughter ugly? I can't believe it. Guys, I don't know what to do. Should I step in? I mean, it's a family problem and like usually you try to stay out of it, but I feel like this is really bad. Comment down below. Should I go say something to that mom? She should not be talking to her daughter that way. I don't need this ugliness in my life. Ah! Y'all, did that mom just literally abandon her child right in front of me? <gasps> I can't believe it. Oh no, and the poor little girl is crying. I, I gotta go comfort her. Is everything okay? Are you all right? My mom left me. I know, I saw, I can't believe she would do that. And also, I'm really sorry for all those mean things she was saying about you. Hey, I don't know, usually when I'm sad, a little bit of ice cream makes me feel better. So wanna come with me and we can go grab some ice cream and I don't know, maybe we can get in touch with your mom and just see why she left you. Ice cream? Yes, and I don't mind paying and you can pick as many scoops as you want in whatever flavors you want. How does that sound? Let's get some ice cream! Yay! <laughs> awesome! Well, don't worry, little girl. Everything is gonna get better. I promise. Okay, Jade, are you ready for daycare today? It's gonna be so much fun! No! Do I have to? Yes, Jade. I'm really sorry, but I would love to hang out with you today, but... I gotta go to work, and I know it's my first time leaving you since you've been abandoned, but you're gonna have a lot of fun, I promise. Please, 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 don't abandon me, please! Oh my gosh, no, of course, I would never abandon you. I promise I will come pick you up right at the end of my day, and we can go home, and we can watch Unica the Unicorn, and just have the best day ever. Come on, I gotta go to work, and I'm really sorry, but... I promise you, I will come back. I won't abandon you like your awful mother did. Would we get ice cream after? Yes, of course, to celebrate your first day at daycare. Now come on, let's go inside. You have tons of new friends that you need to meet. Hello there, how's it going? I'm here to drop off Jade for the day. <laughs> um, what? what's so funny? This kid is too ugly to go here. <gasps> Did you just call her ugly? What is your problem, miss? You don't say that. <laughs> don't listen to her, Jade. Uh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Ma'am, that was awfully rude of you. Well, it's true. Look at her. Ew. I can't believe this. She is super cute and looks don't matter. She's an awesome kid and you guys would be lucky to have her at your daycare. It's happening, my one nightmare. No, no, Jade, Jade, don't, oh my gosh. Look lady, I don't know what your problem is, but that was so mean of you to say. How dare you call my daughter ugly? And you know what? I, I'm gonna pull a Karen and 
I am going to write a letter to your manager. You cannot be speaking about children that way and calling them ugly. I'm never coming back to this daycare again. It's okay. Don't listen to that lady. I don't know what her problem was. Maybe, I don't know, she didn't have her glasses on or she didn't have her morning coffee, but don't let her mean words affect you. Wait, that aren't very nice like that woman in there but look you can't let their mean words affect you and you're not being abandoned i i'll call out of work today and we can hang out i'm really sorry that happened to you that woman was awful why am i so ugly <laughs> oh jade i'm really really sorry oh, man guys i just i don't know what to do i feel so bad for jade I am zooming down to the hub right now because Jade called me sobbing. I really don't know what is going on, but she was so upset. And I just, I hate the thoughts of her being so worked up. Oh my gosh, <gasps> look, she's over there crying. Oh no, this is awful. Oh, Jade, Jade, oh my gosh, girl, are, are you okay? What's going on? I'm tired of this. I'm never showing my face here again. Slow down, what do you mean? What's going on? What happened to you? Remember Nikki? Oh yeah, isn't she like the really popular girl in school? Her and her group made me join the beauty pageant. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad. I mean, beauty pageants can be super fun. I won one once. And once I got on, everyone started booing me. They told me they loved my green sweat. They didn't call me just ugly, but stinky, stupid, lame. I can't believe it. That's awful. I threw tomatoes! Oh my gosh. Tomatoes are literally the worst vegetable. I hate them. They are gross. I, I can't believe it. They threw them at you. Jade, I am so sorry. I see why you're so upset. Maybe I am just an ugly freak. No, Jade. You are far from that. You are smart. You're kind. You have the biggest heart of anyone I know. And look, those girls are too caught up about looks and things that don't matter. So don't let that bother you. Mom, you just don't get it. No, actually, Jade, I totally understand. I was actually bullied when I was little. People would make fun of me all the time. And you know what? I learned that you just can't let those bad words get to you, okay? You were bullied, but you're blonde. Girl, hair color had nothing to do with it. Kids can just be really mean sometimes and you just can't listen. Cause usually when you're being picked on, your bully is also hurting for some reason. So maybe Nikki and her friends are actually just insecure about themselves. But look, you know that you are a good person and that's all that matters, okay? Maybe they're allergic to tomatoes. <laughs> maybe, just maybe. But all right, Jade, let's head home. I can't believe it's actually like six in the morning. We've been out here all night chatting, but let's get going. Ice cream, woohoo! Come on, girl, let's hop in the car. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited. Guess what? Tonight, Jade has her very first date. This is huge. I remember my first date. I was so nervous and I just, I was worried the whole time that I was gonna get something stuck in my teeth or I was gonna spill my soda all over my clothes. So I am just, I'm so excited for her. Everything seems to be going really well. She has an awesome friend group at school and she's been taking acting classes. I think it's her new passion. But Jade, hey, are you almost ready? It's almost time for your date. You don't wanna be late. I'm super nervy worthy. Girl, don't worry about it. You are gonna do fine. This boy asked you out because he liked you. So I'm sure if you just be yourself, Everything will work out perfectly fine. You think he'll like my new hair? Oh my gosh, yeah, of course. It's super cool, I love it. So I'm sure he'll like it too. Oh my gosh, there's a knock at the door. Do you think it's your date? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting, woo! <laughs> uh, I didn't even give him my address. Oh, well that's super weird. Who do you think it is? Hold on, let me go check the door. H hello? Hi, is Jade home? Oh yeah, she is. Let me take you to her. She's right upstairs. You can follow me. Jade, honey, 
I, I think one of your friends is here. How could you? Why is she in our home? Uh, so I, I take it she might not be a friend. <gasps> Yikes, this is awkward. You stole Derek. Stole? How did I steal? He's my boyfriend. Boyfriend? He dumped you and wanted me. You're an ugly freak. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, excuse me, girls. I think things are getting a little bit heated here, but you can't be calling her an ugly freak. I, I don't know exactly all the details about what's going on here, but you can't be saying mean things like that in my house. Your freak of a daughter stole my boyfriend! Jade, I'm asking you as your mother, did you steal this girl's boyfriend? Absolutely not. He dumped her months ago. He always acts bratty. I just don't want him to be around a loser like you. You're the loser here, Nikki. Whoa, whoa, Jade. What did I say? You don't say mean things like that in my house. Ugh, whatever, you're both losers. I cannot believe that. That girl is mean. She called me a loser and I'm an adult. Okay, well, I think it's about time we get ready for your date. Uh, I'll drive you to the movies. How about we get in the car? This is crazy. Uh, yeah, let's go. I've got my bags packed because I'm so excited Jade and I are going on a mother-daughter vacation. Well, actually, it's not really a vacation. Jade invited me to go with her while she's shooting on location on the newest movie that she's going to be in. Guys, you won't believe it, but my little Jade is now one of the biggest movie stars ever, and it's so exciting. She's also launching her own makeup line. Like, what? So cool, I can't believe that. I'm like so proud to be able to call her my daughter. She is the best and I'm so happy that her life is just taking off. Oh my gosh, there she is now! Oh my gosh. Ready to go? Just one bag, you sure? I know, I know, usually I overpack for vacations, but this time, Jade, I wanted to make sure that I just had my carry-on so that way I didn't embarrass you showing up to your shoot with like, 37 bags and like people with carts to wheel in the extra 10 bags I packed for all my shoes and uh, yeah, I, I just one bag. <laughs> Your old mom didn't want to embarrass you at work. Wait a minute. Jade? Jade, is that you? What's going on here? Perhaps have we met? Yes, I'm your mom. Oh my gosh, I knew that woman looked familiar. <gasps> I can't believe it. Don't you remember me? Wait, you left me in the park alone and you made me think I was ugly. I'm sorry, and I want to be back in your life. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone. Is this your mom? I can't believe it. After all those years, now she wants to be back in her life? This is sus. I'm sorry, but you traumatized me to the core. That's true. Her mom was so mean and literally abandon her. Like you don't do that to a kid. Brittany took me in when you left me. Well, uh, look at you now. You're pretty and rich. Please, give me another chance. <laughs> you just want me because I'm rich. You're so lame. Woo, she told her. Fine, you know what? You're both dumb. Welcome back to my channel. I'm hanging out in my backyard today and I was thinking, I really want to get something super cool for my backyard. I mean, I have a pool, I have a fire pit, a hammock, a grill. Maybe I should get a hot tub. Oh my gosh, how cool would that be? That would be so much fun, especially right now since it's freezing cold outside. And wait a minute. My neighbor is making a ruckus again. What is she saying? It's a dumb kid, get out of here. Wait, why are you being so mean to me? It looks like my neighbor Susie is screaming at her baby Debbie. What is going on here? I'm gonna go talk to her because she is making a racket and I don't want that in my neighborhood. Like what's her deal? So let's walk over to Susie's house and just see what she is screaming about today. She's always up to something. Have it be like a crazy garage sale or maybe she tries till you know, leaf blow at 7 a.m., which is not okay. You said no toys, I'ma burn them. <gasps> Wait a minute, what? Excuse me, Susie, stop yelling at your daughter. 
Look at her. Little baby Debbie is crying. <gasps> and she's telling me to stay out of this. Oh, no, 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 no. If someone's being yelled at and crying in Blocksburg, I'm going to help them. That's just what I do. So, no, I am not staying out of this. She's being super mean. Yeah, I know, baby Debbie. She is being crazy mean. Oh, you're so annoying. Excuse me? Me? Are you for real, Susie? Well, you're the one screaming. Leave my property. Baby Debbie, I can't believe this. Why is your mom being so mean? She's not my real mommy. Wait a minute, what? Okay, hold on, girls, girls, girls. What is going on here? She's lying, the brat? Wait, she said she kidnapped her real mom? Guys, I gotta get baby Debbie out of this situation, so I... Oh no, Susie seems really mad. Wait, is this for real? No way, you say anymore you're in trouble? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I think baby Debbie needs to get out of here and get out of here fast, so I'm gonna invite her to my family and we are gonna get out of here. I need to help this little girl. Susie, I'm taking her with me. Right, baby Debbie? I know this is probably super- oh! <gasps> She kicked me off her property. Well, good. I don't want to be here anyway, especially if you're being mean and kidnapping this little girl's mother. Like, what? What is going on here? We need to get to the bottom of this, and I'm going to take baby Debbie back to my house and get to know more about the situation. This is absolutely nuts, but baby Debbie, you are safe at my house. I promise, like, I won't be screaming and yelling at you like that crazy neighbor of mine. I'm going to put you over on the couch, and let's talk more about what is happening here. What happened? So that lady broke into our house? <gasps> oh my gosh, what? For real? What would be the point? Why would she do such a thing? She came in and took my mommy? Oh my gosh, no! And then she kicked her out? <gasps> This neighbor is kicking babies out of their own houses? That is just insane. Why would she do that? I knew my neighbor was crazy, but I didn't think she was like kidnapping moms and kicking out baby crazy. That she wants my mommy's diamonds? <gasps> She's a jewel thief. Please save my mommy? Of course. Do you know where she could be hiding? Does she have a jail? Does she have a secret prison? Oh, so many questions, so little time for answers. Is it maybe at the house? <gasps> oh, Susie is at my door. Oh my gosh, uh, baby Debbie, don't panic, don't panic. Uh, don't be like me and panic, which I'm totally doing right now. Okay, so you hide and I'll go talk to her. You kind of look and like blend into the pillow, so that is perfect, and I am gonna go open the door and confront my crazy, crazy neighbor. What do you want now? Give her back? Oh, no, no, no. Why would I give her back? I don't really think you wanted to hang out with her anyway, seeing as you were yelling so much. She's my daughter? Girl, no, she ain't. I was not born yesterday. She's not yours. She told me the truth. She's saying she's a nasty liar? Mm -mm, no way, I'm sorry. Because if she really was your daughter, you wouldn't be speaking about her that way. So, sorry, Susie. Nope, I'm gonna shut the door. That woman is crazy, baby Debbie. Fine, I'll get her back. Oh no. Uh, baby Debbie, don't, don't panic, but she is totally trying to glitch into my house. Look at her, she's trying to jump through the windows. Ah! Oh my gosh, she's like halfway in my house. I thought these windows were supposed to be safe here in Blocksburg. No, sorry, Susie, not happening. But Susie, you leave me no choice. I am blocking you. She's still screaming. Nope, go away. She's saying she'll be back. Ah, that's not good. She will not be back. Um, don't worry, baby Debbie. No wildness happening here. Um, that was scary. Um, yeah, you can say that again, sister. That was crazy scary. But hold on, let me pick you up because I know that you are going through a lot right now. And look, I promise I will find your mom. But first things first, I think you need to take like a little nap or watch some TV and just calm down. There has been a lot going on and I want you to stay here while I try to go find your mom. All right, so baby Debbie and I are off. We 
are going to find her mother. I promised her we'd do it. So we're gonna do it together because also I shouldn't be leaving a baby unattended at my house. But all right, here we go. We are close to the neighbor's house and I am gonna hide little baby Debbie just right here. You stay here, Deb. Now I'm gonna see if there is a way into this house because there's gotta be right but the door is locked and let's see are there any other entrances looks like this door is locked too you know what i should trick her i should maybe find a way to get her out of her house and lure her away just somehow some way oh my gosh this is super exciting this girl's a fan oh nice to meet you and she subbed yay which guys you need to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel as well. It means the world to me and I literally have the best fans in the whole world. So why don't you subscribe right now and become one of them? <laughs> but anyway, Debbie, we got something to do right now. So I'm gonna pick you up. I will bring you out back to probably a little bit of a safer spot. Make sure to stay hidden. Okay, so I'm gonna knock on her door and just see if I can really, really trick her. She says, hello, what do you want? You have haven't heard the news? What news? Who are you? She doesn't remember who I am. You were screaming at me like just a few hours ago. The bank exploded and now it's raining money downtown. You didn't hear? You didn't hear? Oh my gosh. I'm totally selling it, aren't I? Oh, she said, what? You should go get some. Everyone is gonna be rich. I take a pillowcase and go get some. Sure, it's a lie, but this is important, people. We are trying to save baby Debbie's money. Not money, mommy. <laughs> Thanks for the info, loser. Yeah, sure. Perfect. She is running to go get some money, and I'm running to go get baby Debbie, and we are gonna get inside that house because Susie, my weirdo neighbor, left her door wide open, so this is perfect. We tripped her. So come on, baby Debbie, we gotta get inside and we gotta get inside fast. Baby Debbie, I can't believe it, but we made it inside of the house. We need to start searching. Okay, oh, I see a gamer tag, but how do we get to her? I mean, there's a, oh, oh, how did I get, oh, baby Debbie, wait, Debbie, do you have guests? It's my mom's house, oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like I have guests too. Did. Baby, Debbie, give me guest? Yay! <laughs> she got me guest too. All right, so we need to call out to your mom. Mama Deb, where are you? Mama, where are you? Hello? Can she hear us? Oh, man. Are, are you even listening? Whoa, <gasps> the lights went out. What just happened? Oh, this is scary. I don't think that they paid their bills. Oh, gosh, that is not good. Why is it so dark? I don't know. The light of the TV will save us, but your mom is not hearing us is there like a trap door oh 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 baby debbie oh she lit the candle that's what that was oh goodness <laughs> baby debbie um oh the lights are on oh my gosh yes baby debbie you are a brilliant little baby so okay how can we get to your mom because she's not responding in the chat is this a secret door oh my gosh okay perfect i'm gonna pick you up and we are going to open this door. Woo! Ah, I can't believe it. Perfect. Okay, baby Debbie, I'm gonna go down first just in case it's extra scary. I'm going downstairs and oh, look, there's your mom. Hey, I cannot believe it. Look at her. Oh my gosh, she has pink hair just like her daughter. I love it. It must run in the family. I can't believe this. We need to get you out fast. Oh, this is so cute, guys. I love this type of mother-daughter reunion, but you know what? We don't have time to wait because I bet Susie is gonna figure out that um, low-key it's not raining money, so we gotta get her out of here. Okay, so come on. We need to run. Okay, pick up your daughter and let's pick up the slack. We gotta get out of here before she realizes it's not raining money and I'm gonna run out the back. This way, come on, guys. Okay, I'm so happy we for read you but uh you should probably go file a police report or something because this is insane now let's go quickly thank you of course i'll be going to the police that's a smart idea well i'm so glad i could help you i'm going to run to my house good luck and honestly try not to get captured again by my crazy neighbor 
paper. All right, bye girls. It was so nice to meet the two of you, but oh, I gotta boost my mood. All right, we are boosting the mood and we are running out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't believe it. My neighbor is a crazy person, but I'm so glad I was able to free that mother and daughter. And now uh, I gotta make sure that my security system is working on my house because I don't want to be next. Get out! Mom, what are you doing? This is my house now. I'll have nowhere to go. I'll be homeless. <laughs> That's right. Now get out of here, you homeless freak. Oh my gosh, did my mean mom just make me homeless? Mom, mom, please open the door. Mom, hello. I'm not listening. Mom, please. Mom, mom, come on. Get away, homeless. This is insane. Zane. Mom, I know you're in there. I can literally see you. Let me in the house. You can't kick me out. Go away. Please. Come on. Just let me back in. It's freezing out here. What was that? Nothing. I'm going to go about my day. Mom. Got to be kidding me. Let's see if the garage is open. Let me type in on the keypad. Oh, nothing. Okay. I guess I'll run out back. This is insane. My mom can't kick me out and make me homeless. I mean, hope I hope the back door's open. Oh. Awesome, I'm so glad one door is open. Now let's try this one. No, are you kidding me? What am I supposed to do? Well, uh, maybe I'll, I'll just sleep outside. It'll be like camping, because it is starting to get dark. That's it, hello, 911. There's a homeless loser that needs to be removed off my property immediately. Maybe I can just rest on this chair over here. This will be a cozy night's sleep as long as I don't get attacked by bears. <laughs> Officer, here she is, that horrible homeless girl. What? No, I'm not homeless, officer. My mom just kicked me out. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. Get her out of here! All right, you heard the lady. Get off the property. But officer, please, I live here. I lived here my entire life. No, she's homeless. All right, ma'am, I can handle this. Miss, get lost or you'll be arrested. Spirit change? Anyone, please? Why won't anyone help me? Does anyone have like a penny, a quarter? <gasps> Sir! Yeah, gross! Oh, the, the trash I was standing on? Yeah, that is pretty gross. Um, sir, I'm so sorry to bug you, but do you have like a dollar? Oh my gosh! Yeah, you're gross! Get your gross homelessness away from me at once! I don't want to catch it! Ah! Whoa! Oh. Okay, well, that was really rude. Someone to help me. I have not eaten in like weeks. Please, spare change. Hello? Oh, you there. Hello, human. Please, you gotta have a dollar or something on you. I'll pay back somehow, some way. No way, you're homeless and gross. Goodbye, human. Oh man, why won't anyone give me a chance? Wish there were nice people out there. Everyone's just making fun of me for being homeless. Maybe I'll just go dig in the dumpster over here again. Brett, is that you? Oh my gosh, Brenda, hey! What the heck is going on? What are you doing? Wait, you haven't noticed I haven't been at home? Huh, interesting. I was wondering why I had been so quiet lately. Well, that's because mom made me homeless. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, right, Brent. Come on, mom can be mean, but that's crazy. No, it's true. She kicked me out. She even called the cops on me. I don't believe you. Do I look like I'm kidding? I'm homeless. Look at me. I haven't showered in weeks. Oh, ew, that's you? I thought it was just the burger place. Ugh, I'm taking a step back. Brenda, please help me get home. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like being an only child. You didn't even know I was gone. Come on, please. Okay, fine. I'll help you. But really, can you, like, stay far away from me? You smell so bad. Okay, Brent, get out. You smell. Jeez Louise, fine. <gasps> Oh my gosh, home sweet home, look at this house. Did it get bigger since I was gone? Oh my gosh, you are so extra. Hey, you try being homeless for weeks. You'll miss this house too. Yeah, no thanks, that's not gonna happen. Oh, I'm just so happy to be back. <laughs> yeah, 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 but now that you're here, what do we do? Well, it's easy. We just have to sneak me inside without mom knowing. Dude, she lives here, she's gonna find out. Yeah, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Just let me inside the house, okay? All right, fine, I guess. Live it or lose it, Smelly. Hey, I can't help it. I've been living on the streets. Shh, quiet down. Mom's gonna hear you. Okay, now make a run for it upstairs. Ah, 
Good idea. Uh, I can't wait to go change into something that is not this. My sister's really right. I do smell. And oh, oh boy. I need to not look at myself in the mirror till after I change. Oh man, what? <gasps> Are you kidding me? What happened to my room? My mom changed it and it's like a home gym. What the heck? Where did all my stuff go? Wait a second. I don't let drowned rats in my house. Mom! What the heck? What happened to all my stuff in my room? Look, I kicked you out. This isn't your home anymore, so I made this my own gym. Well, Mom, it's not fair. I had all of my things in here. My bed, my clothes. What did you do with it? I redecorated the place and made it look better. This is my house. You can't tell me what to do. Okay, fine. Can you at least tell me why you kicked me out in the first place? I don't have to do that if I don't want to. You're not the boss of me. This is crazy. Brenda, get up here. I need your help. What is it? What's going on? Brenda, tell Mom I should stay stay in the house. Mm, I don't know, Brett. I mean, I'm kind of digging this home gym. I know, right? Perfect for Pilates and self-care. It feels so zen in here. So much better than before. What the heck? No, Brenda. Tell mom I can stay. Oh, what's that? A uh, confrontation? Uh, no thanks. I gotta get out of here. Good luck, Brett. Wait, what? You can't just leave me. Brenda! Look, homeless girl, I want you out of my house in two seconds or else I'm calling the cops again. No, Mom, this is not fair. Please just let me stay. No, I've had enough of you. That's it. Come along. Mom, what are you doing? I'm kicking you out. No homeless freaks allowed here ever. Get out and stay out. Mom! What do we have here? That looks like an abandoned shack. Perfect. Maybe this can be my new house. I can start over and not have to live on the streets. That's exciting if you ask me. Here we are. The roof's broken and it's freezing in here and uh, I guess it's better than a dumpster, right? Being homeless is so difficult. Hey, you! Ah, what are you doing in my house? Whoa! Whoa, my gosh. Um, uh, hi there. What do you think you're doing? Whoa, um, uh, I'm just trying to find a place to live. Not in my house, you're not. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think anyone lived here. Guess again. Have some respect. This is my beautiful oasis. No disrespect at all. Um, th this is a really nice house. Why, thank you. And I'm really sorry for intruding. I just had nowhere else to go. Ah, you homeless too, huh? Yeah, my mom kicked me out. Ah, I know the feeling. My mom did that years ago. She's evil. Well, hey, since you're kind of experienced being homeless, um, do you have any advice? Do you know where I could stay? Oh, yeah. Word of the wise, don't eat five-week-old bread. You'll be sorry. Oh, and also don't eat any cat food. Might smell like sushi, but oh, it ain't. Whoa, whoa. Jeez, well, thank you. That is very solid advice. Yeah, don't mention it. Say, come to think of it, I have an old tent you could use. Ah, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Mm. Ah, maybe it's outside. Go take a look. But if you can find it, it's yours. Gotta go. Thank you, sir. That man was a character. Let me find this tent. Hmm, where could it be? Whoa! Oh, um, are you okay? Yeah, just taking a nap. Okay, um, sounds good. Oh, perfect. Here's the tent. I'll set it up. This will definitely keep me out of the rain. Sure, it's not much, but I'll just, I don't know, pretend I'm camping. Even though I'm not really an outdoors person, it's okay. I will make the best of it. All right, now to relax. Yeah! What are you doing? Oh, hey, Mom. I found a new place to live. You don't have to worry. I'll never come home again. <laughs> That's what you think for now. What do you mean? Say goodbye to your little home. <gasps> Mom, are you lighting my tent on fire? What the heck? Why are you doing that? You don't even deserve to live in a tent. <laughs> Loser! Well, now what am I supposed to do? My mom set my only house I had on fire and oh, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. It's Sophie. Hey, Soph. Brett, you have some explaining to do. What is going on at your house? Uh, I, I don't know. Girl, are you having a party? You're not inviting me. I'm your bestie. Well, Sophie, uh, funny story. I'm actually not home. Wait, what? The boss is bumping. That's crazy. Yeah, must be my mom. She's probably throwing a party now that I'm kicked out of the house. Girl, what? Actually, hold on, Soph. I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. I need your help with something. All right. This is perfect. I'm going to steal a disguise from Sophie and get into my house. There's no way my mom will be paying attention if she's throwing a massive party. Jeez, Sophie was not kidding. This party is bumping. Who would my mom invite? She's really mean. I don't think she has any friends. Well, either way, everyone orders a pizza at a party, so hopefully this works. Hello, delivery. Ah, oh, perfect pizza. 
is here. Here you go. Awesome. Uh, what happened to the box? Oh, in this economy, uh, we're just cutting down on shipping costs. Uh, okay, whatever. Say, uh, you don't mind if I come in and charge my phone, do you? Whatever, delivery person. Wait, ser seriously? Brenda, did you not realize it was me? Jeez, thank gosh, I'm not a robber. Whoa. <gasps> Okay, this looks amazing. My mom threw parties when I was living here. Woohoo! Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> well, this is fun. I'm so excited. I'm finally back home. There's no way my mom can kick me out now. Ah, guess again. Woo! Mom! I thought I kicked you out of here. Please, can I just stay? I mean, I brought pizza. No, no gross homeless people allowed. If I catch you in here ever again, you're in big trouble. What? Seriously? Again? Give it up, kid. You're meant to be homeless. All right, any minute now she should be leaving the store. Now I'm gonna go talk to her. Have a great day! Hey, Mom! Ew! Homeless, get away from me! Mom, stop! I wanna know why you're doing this to me. It's simple, really. I don't wanna take care of you. What? But that's what parents are supposed to do. Well, I'm sick of it. All the money I spent spent on you. I could have gone on vacation, bought new clothes. I could be the richest woman in Bloxburg. Well, I'm sorry, Mom, but I'm still your daughter. No, you're homeless. You mean nothing to me. Look, I'm sure you really wish you had all that money you spent on me, and I really appreciate everything you've done, but you can't take it out on me now. Yes, I can. It's all your fault for needing so much stuff, like a bed and food. I don't want any part of it anymore. I'm living life for me. Mom, that is crazy. I don't care. I'm done with you. And leave me alone. Mom, you're being ridiculous. Stop. Whatever. At least I'm not homeless. <laughs> Mom, don't you drive away from me, lady. What? Can't hear you. What? That's it. I'm not giving up. I am not being homeless. But what the heck is going on? on at my house? What is this fence and oh, there are giant no Britney signs? Are you kidding me? <gasps> okay, my mom has gone way too far. What the heck? <laughs> oh, howdy, neighbor. Oh, hey, Jeff. Hey, uh, beautiful weather we're having, right? Oh, my, what? <gasps> That's you. Oh, my gosh. No, no, intruder. Whoa, you're terrifying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jeff, come down it's me you've known me since you've lived next door hey stop what is going on oh my gosh i'm terrified of you you're an intruder there are signs that show that i should hate you and i do look at you no Brittany ever whoa okay jeff you are really spiraling right now ah, i hate you what just happened <laughs> i knew you'd come back you homeless freak you can't be here. Don't you see the signs? Mom, this is my house. Seriously? I think this is rather beautiful artwork. Mom, just let me in. We need to talk about this. We need to get to the bottom of this. No, I have a better idea. Security! Wait, you're not serious. You don't really have security blocking the house from me. Oh, I don't, do I? <laughs> you're in for a laugh. Hey. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, you really do have security. Now get lost. There's no homeless people in this neighborhood. You heard her. Come on, come on. Get moving, get moving. You better leave or else I'll make you leave. Ah! No, no, no. You, uh, you gotta catch me first. You kidding me? Oh, I hate running. Ha! I'm gonna get back in the house if it's the last thing I do. The back gate's gotta be open. Right, it was open before. Get back here. No, no, no. Come on, open, open, open. I've got you surrounded. <laughs> oh, please. Just let me in. This is my house. Nope, you're under arrest. And I don't want you escaping, criminal. You got that? But I'm not a criminal. That's my home. All right, if I had a dollar I heard people say they're not a criminal, I wouldn't be a security guard. <laughs> now quiet down. I'm gonna catch up on some Netflix. Oh, so annoying. I shouldn't even be here in the first place. That's my home. There's gotta be a way out, right? <gasps> that security guard. He was not smart enough to take away my phone. Perfect. Well, you guys know exactly who I call in these moments, and uh, hopefully she answers. Sophie. Hey, bestie. Um, so I've been arrested again. Do you want to come and save me? Yeah, it's the same cell. Thank you. You're the best. I'll see you soon. Perfect. And now we wait for our bestie to save the day. <laughs> you, hello, officer, woo, 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 woo. 
What the? Who ordered landscaping for today? They just mowed the lawns yesterday. Oh, this is unbelievable. Hey, where, where'd you go? I'm hiding. Well, I found you. Ah! Well, you gotta catch me first. Ah! Hey, uh, well, j Liam, g get back here. Where, where did you go? Hey, hey. Oh, you'll never see me. Mm, perfect. Here's the key. <laughs> Man, the amount of times I do this for you. Hiya, bestie! Sophie! Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes! Open the door! Open the door! Don't rush me, lady. Now come on! Let's go! Right behind you! Oh, wait, Sophie, you are running so fast! Why a Brit? Oh, oh, oh boy. We gotta run. Uh, he's gonna see us. Let's go! Ah! Oh my gosh. Sophie, wait up! Wait up! No, Brit! I don't wanna get caught! Come on! Hurry! Oh, Sophie! I'm getting tired, please. I don't wanna run anymore. Girl, I love you. But I'm getting tired! You gotta stop getting arrested. I know, I'm sorry, Soph, but thanks again for bailing me out. No problem. I just can't believe how crazy your mom is going. That woman's scaring me. I know, she's totally unhinged. Well, did you ever think about maybe not trying to go back home? Honestly, Soph, it's not a bad idea. I know, because I thought of it. You know what, I've decided that I'm gonna make the best out of things. And maybe I'll get a job and save up money to buy my own house. But uh, one problem, I just kinda need someone to hire me. So I'm gonna go see if they're hiring at Mr. Bull's Ice Cream Shack. Hi there! Hello, can I help you? Oh, yeah, I was actually wondering, um, are you hiring by chance? Hiring? We haven't hired anyone since 1972. Now you either buy something or get out. Wait, please, I could really use the help. No! You're homeless, and can't you read the sign? Buy something or get out. Okay, well, there's no convincing you, is there? Nope. Oh, all right, have a great day. Anyway, running out of options, and that guy was so rude. Maybe I'll try the bakery. Hopefully they're nicer in here. Hello? Oh, hi there. Welcome in. How can I help you? I was wondering, um, are you hiring by chance? Um, no, I, I'm sorry. Wait, really? Oh, man. I was really looking for someone to give me a job. You know what? I I'm sure I could find something for you to do. You seem like a very nice girl. Wait, really? You'll give me a chance? Of course. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I promise you will not regret this. I will literally be the best worker you could ever imagine. <laughs> Perfect. Now come over here. Let me show you a few things. Okay, great. Well, this is the cake I'm working on for one of our customers. Over there's the fridge and the oven. Oh, and if anyone comes in, like <gasps> our first customer. Hi there. <laughs> Well, 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 look who it is. Is there anything we can help you with? No. As a customer, may I suggest you don't hire homeless freaks like her? Ma'am? Oh, and I'll take a muffin. Um, coming right up. Here you are. <laughs> On second thought, take this. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Loser. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> that woman's terrible. Are you okay? Yeah, that terrible woman's actually my mom. Oh, my goodness. I, I don't believe it. That's her? Yeah, she's the worst. Right, finished with that cake order for the day. I love working at a bakery, it is so awesome. Wait a second, what the heck? What's all that noise? It sounds like a parade or something. Let's go see what that is. Whoa, oh, but is this a protest? Brett Sting! Go back to Bloxburg, you freak! My pastry was cold! Oh my gosh, what the heck is going on? Get out of here, you freak! We don't like your kind here! <laughs> Mom? You like my little protest I organized? This is perfect. Wait, you did this? Yeah, loser! Ha <laughs> ha! I don't like you! <laughs> well, I thought the whole world should know the truth. And these people agree with me. Homeless Britneys are ugly and dumb and stinky. Yeah, take a shower! Yeah, ha <laughs> ha! This is not cool, okay? I don't care. That's funny. That's it! I've had enough! You people get out of here! <laughs> my hair! Oh no! I'm so sorry, Brittany. That's okay. Thanks for sticking up for me. Of course. I can't believe your mother would do such a thing. I will make sure she'll pay for this. We need to do something about her bad attitude. Here's your donut, Mrs. Johnson. Oh, I thank you, dearie. You've made my day. I always look forward to my daily donut with you. Oh, that's so sweet. I love when you come in. You're by far one of my favorite customers. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. No, I'm serious. Well, ta-ta, dear. I have to go take care of the cats. Bye. Have a good one. All right, now 
back to work. Oh, this cake won't frost itself. Britt! Oh, there you are. Britt, I have something very important to tell you. Oh, no, am I fired? <laughs> Quite the opposite. I want to say thank you. Oh, for helping Miss Johnson? <laughs> it's my job. No, for helping with our online sales. We've been able to triple our profits. That's awesome. And honestly, it was easy. We wouldn't be able to sell all over the country. Well, remember what I told you? You wouldn't regret hiring me. <laughs> and boy, were you right. Say, I have an idea. Okay, what is it? How about we become partners in business? What? Oh my gosh, that would be so amazing. Perfect. With business doing so well, we can now open up other locations. Here, I have a little something for you. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's a bonus check for half a million dollars. For half a million? Oh, no, no, you gotta be kidding me. That's way too much money. Well, that's what you get for all your help. I have no idea what to say other than thank you. This is amazing. This will totally help me start a new life without my mom. I'm so glad. Your mom's horrible. You deserve a better life. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, I gotta get back to work. All right, this is the one. Yep, yep. Very nice property. I know. This is actually my house. I used to live here, so I want to buy it back. Perfect. We're gonna have to make an aggressive offer, but we can get it sold right away. Perfect. I'm so excited. It'd be so good to be back home. Ah! Wow, wow, wow. Look what the to dropped off. It's my homeless daughter. Ma'am, she's not homeless. She just bought this property right from under you. <laughs> what? No, you, you can't do that. Oh, uh, just you wait until you see my negotiating skills. <laughs> I'm going to present an offer that the landlord can't refuse. Yeah, so sorry, Mom. You might want to start packing.